Hello everyone, and this will be our video tutorial on um, 1.1.9 System Fundamentals Methods of Providing User Documentation. I have decided to use Laksha, one of my friends' um, PowerPoint, as this one is uh, very detailed and uh, a perfect fit for, for the syllabus. So let's start it off. And all credit goes to Laksha. I'm just here for the screencast. So what is user documentation? Uh, first of all, it is used to train the user of the system about the major components and uses of the system. And it's also created during the documentation phase of a system lifecycle, which is this phase right here. Um, so there are lots of different types of documentations. First of all, it's called the help files, and this is usually um, in the readme.txt. Sometimes if you guys torrent, um, there will be a file saying readme.txt, and this is a help file. Uh, there are small documents which are part of the which are part of the installation of the service of the software. Sorry, you can also be PDF as a user guide and used for specialized software specialized software programs. And um, help files, they um, the software have their own support tools in their dialog boxes. So if you press F1 right now, see that slideshow help, this is sort of a help file. And the user can see the files as long as the help file is saved on the hard disk drive of the computer. So the advantages are that um, they can have um, possible PDF links which can access when connected to the internet. PDF file, sorry. Uh, the search bar looks through a database with the records of the different topics. And a search bar can be used to make... Um, easier for the user to find specific details so no internet is required as it might be a txt file and the help file can also be updated when a new software version is installed but there are lots of different limitations such as this readme file it might be too too much text and sometimes it's not directly um, fit for your need and it's sometimes not user friendly. The second type of user documentation is called online support and this is when um, there are software or hardware problems and it is when the user doesn't know how to solve it themselves. So the advantages are that um, it can perform the diagnosis test on that website so you maybe have to install an um, ask you to uh, download an application and you can immediately test it at that place there's also videos and virtual tutorials and it's basically like the stuff I make when um, some things aren't working on Windows how to fix something 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 how to do something 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 um, support information can be easily updated um, there are, can be search bars to um, a larger range of topics compared to a help file through a knowledge base and it can be accessed from anywhere in the world. However, an internet connection is required in this case. The third type of user um, docu documentation is called printed manuals and it's usually paper based manual. It includes diagrams and simple instructions. Um, these are printed manuals so they are more appealing compared to older user manuals. First of all, um, they can be accessed at any time because it's a hard copy. But the disadvantage is that it may be lost or it may be outdated or obsolete because um, if there may be new software updates, the user documentation manual files needs to be updated. So you, of course you can't update paper. So you need to... Um, download the new one from the internet which is a type of online support and hopefully you print that and make that your user and manual so these are the bibliographies from Laksha's PowerPoint and thank you to Laksha for um, giving me permission to make this YouTube video